Hey everybody, it's Tina with 85th House of Vibrations and I just wanted to come on here and uh, share something with y'all. This is something I like to do whenever planets make ingress into another sign and that means like when one planet moves, when a planet moves out of one sign into another, it's called an ingress. Um, and so I was doing, I was pulling cards for that and I thought, you know, just why not? share it with y'all some of you who do tarot may do this yourselves anyway <clears throat> this is the tarot of dreams deck and i like to use this deck for ingresses because uh it not only shows the symbolism of the tarot card but it also includes the astrological associations so mercury has moved into i'm not mercury i'm sorry mars has moved into scorpio mars is currently at zero degrees in 18 uh, minutes of scorpio uh, that is what we call an ingress it's moved out of libra and into scorpio mars rules um our passion energy fight you know the way we move I always say we can get up and go to the toilet without mars mars helps us do all of that Mars is fire and combustion and bombs and all of those things. He's the fighter, the soldier. Uh, Mars is about um, self-gratification, you know, like an Aries energy to compare. So it has moved out of Libra where it was in a space where every move Mars made, it had to try to be fair and balanced and diplomatic, which Mars doesn't like to do. Uh, Mars is, uh, Mars rules the opposite sign of Aries. So in Libra, I think it's in its fall. Uh, sometimes I mix up, I mix up fall and detriment, but I think it's in its fall in Libra. So Mars is not necessarily happy in the sign of Libra and it's not able to move the way that it wants to move. <clears throat> so now it has ingressed into Scorpio and Mars is the traditional ruler of Scorpio. Pluto is the modern ruler of Scorpio. So Mars is real cool in the sign of Scorpio because it can move in a way that it's comfortable with. Now that doesn't make it all good there's a shadow side to everything and that is kind of what i'm gonna get into with these cards reason being is because what i was saying at first is that i like to pull to row cards that have specific association with the planet or transit in this case mars and scorpio and if i have it in me yeah, you know, I like to keep this up. I'm not even going to sit here and say that I always keep it up because I don't. But I think this could be beneficial. You know, it gives me a reason to come on here and talk to y'all. Um, you know, and I'm happy to share. This could, could work for some people. And I think I was saying some of you may already do this if you uh, pull cards for yourself. So let's talk about the first card, which is the Five of Cups. This is a card about heartbreak and disappointment. I picked this card because it is a Mars and Scorpio card specifically. Um, what I forgot to mention is the reason I pull these cards is because I like to meditate on them and draw the energy and understand it from, from them because I feel like it helps me get through uh, transits, especially the more difficult ones with more of an understanding of what's happening and where I'm supposed to end up when it's all over. So sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it can make it easier to deal with. So anyway, Five and Cups, Mars and Scorpio, heartbreak, disappointment. Uh, there's unhealthy obsession here, especially with things that we can't change. Uh, while we are obsessing over things that have already happened, things that are in the past, that we can't do anything about, we miss the fact that there are still additional opportunities, additional feelings, experiences. Uh, and, and we can see that with the three, uh, three cups that have fallen. These were the good times, the celebrations, the coming together when, when everything was hunky-dory. And so now you see the chick sitting there and she's uh, obsessing over the fact that these cups have spilled out. That means they're empty. There's nothing left in that setup 
to draw from and she is sad about it but if she were to turn around she could see that there were two more cups in the background you know and i'm sure we've got some people out there where that will say well two is less than three but you know oatmeal beats no meal so there you go and the two of cups talks about connections and relationships which is probably one of the one things that we need first so you know two of cups that's a good deal but what that person or what she needs to do is she can't look two places at once she's got to do a complete 180 and turn around and see that there is still good left to come but until she does that she remains heartbroken and and and, and obsessing over the things like i said that we can't change is extremely unhealthy so you know in saying that mars and scorpio i assume ultimately can put you through the ringer in order to get you to a point of um, healthy outcome. Helps you move. It helps you transform the way you move. Uh, hopefully for the better. So the next card is the Tower card. And I picked this card because uh, this is a Mars ruled card. And the Tower card is when the shit hits the fan. Um, and sometimes that has to happen to shake us up, to, to get us out of the ruts that we put ourselves in, to break up the obsessions, to break up the laser focus. Something has to happen that is so extreme that we have no choice but to divert our attention from the BS and figure out how to fix this situation. And that's what the tower card does while you just, you know, moving along, minding your business, la di da, some shit happens. And now you gotta change the whole game, change the whole game plan and change how you move. Because whatever you had in mind is not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. So now you have to do it different. And then the last card being um, the judgment card. And this, I picked this card because this card is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is uh, considered the modern ruler of Scorpio. Uh, some people don't use modern rulers when they interpret. I do, but I still have... Uh, the bulk of my belief is in traditional rulers, if anybody cares. So anyway, the judgment card is about us answering to the true call we will not enjoy our existence here on earth on this planet in this lifetime if we don't live our true um what you know if we if we aren't ourselves if if we faking it to make it you know, I guess that has its place, but ultimately, unless you exist in your true identity, your true self, um, then you're probably not going to be uh, having a good time this go round. So it's like wherever you've been stuck and stagnant and, and not living your true purpose, the judgment card is... It's waking up the dead, where you're dead inside. The judgment call, the judgment card calls out to you. Judgment calls out to you, and tells you that it's time for you to uh, stop doing it for them and do it for you. These are two major arcana cards, so these are huge life lessons. These are not lightweight cards, but none of these are lightweight cards. And I think that's perfect for the whole Scorpio. Um, I always say, what's the word I'm looking for? The whole Scorpio archetype. I think this fits purpose but perfectly. And I'm, I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that the, creator of this deck the tarot of dreams and damn what's his name i can't remember i used to say it all the time but anyway because i use this deck a lot and i can't remember the guy who created this deck but i'm he knew what he was doing 
the cards fit perfect in my opinion so long story real short because i hadn't i hadn't planned for it to drag out this long i pulled these cards so you can meditate on them so i can meditate on them and you know hopefully we'll we'll get a little bit of assistance as we go through this mars and scorpio transit because it's it's gonna be it ain't gonna be light you know there's nothing about scorpio that's light so this ain't gonna be light it's not gonna be easy i'm not saying it's not gonna be any fun because change can be fun you know what i'm saying and, and going to the trenches it depends on what kind of person you are if you have a lot of scorpio energy like i do sometimes uh hanging out in the trenches is uh is stimulating so anyway, that's all I have to say about that. And y'all just, if you don't mind, let me know if you would like to see more videos like this about like ingresses and pulling cards to meditate. And then I'll see what I can do. So love y'all. Peace.